In any industry, at any level, the customer-employee relationship is very clear and simple, right? The customer comes before the employee. No brainer. Because customer-facing professionals only exist to serve the customer. It is their reason for existence. It is why they are there. But you are wrong. When it comes to employees, you typically hear things like what makes us different is our team or we are proud of our incredibly loyal employees, so on and so forth. Those sentiments are meaningful and true, but they don't quite reach the core of what most organizations should have baked into their culture. Which is to say, if customer service is important, and it is, then service to your employees is even more so. If your business objectives include being customer oriented, then your organizational objectives should include being employee oriented. While you can try to control how your brand is perceived through positioning, customer will always believe what insiders say about a company's culture. As one of the CEOs of a prominent company here in New York puts it, you wouldn't believe how many projects we want purely because people have gone on Glassdoor and seen what actual employees say about the business. Companies can fake testimonials, they can get Facebook likes, but the one thing they can fake is how happy their employees are with the business and that's a huge thing. Sure, they may not be your main target in terms of who is buying your products and services. The truth is that your employees are the audience for your strategy. They are the people, if treated right and armed correctly, who will authentically translate your message, your vision, and your brand to the paying customers you're after. Managers play a key role in making this happen, as they are the link between leadership and the front line. They can be most effective at bringing your vision and strategy to life in a fun, emotive way that will help your people come to their own conclusions about why it makes sense. This is the key to enabling employees to live your brand in every interaction with customers. Before asking your employees to take on something new or deliver a certain kind of customer experience, you must explain why it is so important. Show them why it will help themselves, the customer, and the company, and why they are so instrumental in driving the business outcome you want to achieve. Too often leaders try to engage people from the point of view of the company. Instead, we must shift our thinking to center around the point of view of the employee. How can we communicate in ways that are relevant to motivating them? If you engage your frontline the right way, the experience they deliver to customers will shine. So start with the why, and then follow with what and how. Traditional classroom training is not the answer for frontline workers today. So what is? Some companies attempt to find out through lengthy surveys that promise anonymity, thinking they're going to get the truth. But what you really need to do before designing any training is to go into the field and literally observe what's happening. Go watch your people in action. Talk to them. Hear what they have to say. Where do they excel? Where is there room to improve? How do they interact with one another? User-centric training is designed with all of this data in mind rather than what's on the mind of the training developer or even of company leaders. Connecting training with the company strategy and designing it with the end user and desired outcomes in mind is the most effective way to empower people to execute your brand promise at the front line. Investing time, effort and money into this process will yield a much more effective training development effort, more engaged employees and much better customer interaction. With rapid growth comes an amount of chaos. No matter how experienced your executives, no matter how great your team is, there are going to be issues. Things happen. If you have a strong employee-centric community, as well as culture, you notice employees actually take the initiative to go and fix problems before they get escalated. Develop a constant feedback system where people can lift each other up with notes or regular short surveys with easy to use tools like SurveyMonkey or Typeform. And then offer catered lunches, not just pizza. Set your goal and standard something out of the ordinary. 
consider a brunch bar or relevant keto friendly dessert with leadership tools like interactive souls or polls everywhere do rounds talk to your team members individually or in a group depending on the size of your organization or team try to say hello to all or bulk of your team once a day ask what they're up to and if you can help with anything